My love, the reason I knew I wanted to marry you almost 30 years ago was because you made me feel like a little kid. And I still feel like a little kid with you because being with you is exciting, it's fun, you're supportive. I get to be who I am, I get to play in this world. And I am so grateful for every moment we spend together. I love you so much and thank you for all you have done to support me, love me, and let, allow me to become the person who I am. I love you so much and happy 60th. Why do you keep getting younger and I keep getting older? That's what I wanna know. And I'm not talking to you. I love you. Daddy, so many things I love about myself, I have you to thank for. You are my inspiration. You taught me how to be virtuous, how to continuously grow and strive to be a better person and how to be grateful for it all. You are humble, kind, and light shines through your eyes every day. I hope I can do as much good as you have done for your family, friends, and the world. I love you so much. Daddy, I'm so grateful to have you as a role model. You teach me the importance of respecting others, working hard, and family. You teach me there's always something to be grateful for, even in difficult times. As the three of us learn and grow, you allow us to be ourselves and are so proud of us for it. You never let us forget that we are loved and supported in what gives us purpose. You do so much for our family. I love you. Happy 60th. Daddy, one of my favorite things about you is how caring you are. You do so much for the people you love every day, not only for the people you love, but for the whole world. You make the world a better place in so many ways. You're kind, caring, and you're always there for whoever needs you. All three of us are so lucky to have that to set an example of what kind of person we should be, a loving and caring one. It's had such a big impact on how I want to live my life, and I'm so grateful to have had that. Happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you for giving me something I can always be grateful for. I love you so much. We love you. We love you. This is our top five list, so maybe a little bit more of things that we think about when we think about you. And number one on the list is mounds and mounds of carrots. L'chaim. L'chaim. And magically healthy muffins. And cocoa water. And love for family. And your warm embraces and your great health. Love you, bro. The bond that links your true family isn't one of blood, but of respect and, and joy in each other's life. We have all of that. I, you know, we've got the blood and, and the joy and the respect. Um, uh, the next thing I saw was a friend loves you all the time. A sibling is born to help you through a difficult time. And that came from Proverbs. You know, I love that. Um, again, both. Yes and yes. Um, siblings don't allow each other to walk alone in the dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. A sibling is the lens through which we view our childhood. Thank God I have you and Art to give me balance and perspective. I, I really appreciate that. I hear it, and um, it, it's very helpful. But the one that amazed me is that someone thought you needed, this needed to be said, Stop for a moment and realize how lucky you are to have a brother. <laughs> Don't need to remind me, not one minute of any day. So, I want to say happy birthday today, this year, next year, another 60 years if you want them. I love you and I like you. Happy birthday, David. Happy birthday, Uncle David. I love spending time with you at the hotel pool when you read me stories. Happy birthday, Uncle David. I love when I used to spend a Sunday dinner with you and spending time with you. Happy birthday, Uncle David. Thank you for showing me how to raise a family. Happy birthday. I really miss our Sunday talks and legal and life talks. Zizi, say happy birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. I want to wish a very happy birthday to the best Uncle David I know. And I may be saying that you're my only Uncle David, but there's a lot of Uncle Davids out there. And the emotional and mental support that you give to your friends and your family is just an inspiration. And I can never be in a crowd and see someone in a highlighter shirt without thinking of my Uncle David. Well, you know how Kurt and I 
treasure, the love, the caring, and the accomplishments of all girls. And exactly the same goes for those that they married. And we are so proud and pleased to have you as one of our in-laws. Don't really consider you an in-law, consider you a son. And you have just been beyond words how honored and privileged we are to have you in the family. Much love to you. Boy, the big 6-0, you're catching up to Mark. One of my biggest, or I have a couple memories, but one of my funniest ones that I remember is when we were all in France and you ate all that chocolate for dinner, chocolate souffle, and then you mooned um, in the middle of the street down in France. And the other big memory that I have, or a good time, is when we did all of our work together with Sabre. That was, that was really memorable for me. Good times. Hey, David. I'm so lucky to have you as a brother-in-law. You are the best. I mean, I have such fond memories from kicking field goals in Cleveland, fly fishing in Montana, golfing in Hilton Head. And it's just, you're always willing to lend a hand, help out, lend me tools, break up logs for firewood, whatever it is. You're the best. Love you, man. One of my earliest memories was when I was about six years old and it was at Bethany Beach and I was learning how to read. And I remember being so frustrated because I just could not figure out how to read. And Uncle David took me for a walk around the block and it really allowed me to calm down. And when I got back to the beach house, I could suddenly read. And it was so magical. <laughs> <laughs> and Uncle David, you just have, you were just like a magical teacher and you just have a way of supporting someone and making them realize that they were capable of doing it all along. Um, my, I, well, yeah, so my favorite memory isn't like a specific favorite memory, but one thing that I really love and admire about Uncle David is that kind of at first he comes across as, um, I don't know if stoic is the right word, but just a well put together, um, very intellectual and um, just, yeah, a put together man. And then just has this like, like spur of like craziness and like hilarity and amusement that is so unique to him. She knows what you know what I'm talking about. Just this burst of energy that he has sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. So, so funny. one example that I can use is when we were in Nicaragua and I don't remember the context, context, context exactly, but all the kids were in the pool and Uncle David came over and said something and we were like, oh, what? And then all of a sudden he just ran, jumped and dove in the pool and started vigorously swimming across <laughs> the lanes. And I remember all the kids were just like, what just happened? It was hilarious. So that's one thing that I really love and admire about Uncle David is that there's more to him than you think, and it's so funny, and I just love it so much. I knew David was becoming a mensch when he mooned the left bank of Paris after eating a slice of chocolate cake for my per parents' birth anniversary. But one of my favorite memories is his waiting on the pregnant moms of the twin cousins while we sat watching TV on the sofa. Memory, 2007. Bethany Beach, my first trip with the whole family. David and I are sitting at the kitchen table eating breakfast, and Gerda is ranting about something. And I wonder to myself, what have I gotten myself into with Amy? And then at that moment, David and I look up. He makes eye contact with an expression that said, you've got a guide. Happy 60th birthday, David. One thing I really enjoy uh, when I get to see you is talking politics and current events with you and your takes. And I hope that we can do it again soon next time I'm out there or in the rare case that you come out here. But I hope you have a great birthday. I love you. Yeah. Sending a lot of love to you on your 60th. <laughs> When you're down 
and troubled and you need some love and care and nothing nothing is going right close your eyes and think of us and soon we will be there to brighten up even your darkest night you just call out my name and you know wherever i am i'll come running to see you again Winter, spring, summer, or fall All you have to do is call And I'll be there, yeah You've got a friend Hey, Nims, happy birthday 60 years old, man are we old? So when doing this tape, I couldn't decide, should I make a humorous video or talk in all seriousness? I thought maybe humorous anecdotes from when we were young, like when you broke uh, Carl's dad's car window when we were driving home from Boston, or maybe when you passed out on Horseneck Beach on senior day, or when you pushed Tommy McCormick out of the car coming home from Boston. I'm sorry, Providence, but that, that wasn't you, that's right. But instead, I thought in all seriousness, uh, I wanted to say happy birthday, man. You really have been the, the glue that holds everybody together, the group. Uh, and I know that any one of us could count on you if we really needed you, uh, that you would be there for us. But, well, maybe except if we needed a part of your liver, but, but that's okay. Uh, so I wanted to say in honor of your birthday, I wanted to do a shot, but I wasn't sure what would be the best appropriate thing for you to have, really for me to drink in your honor. So here's my choices. Nooms, 60, welcome to the club. How come you look so much better than Mo and I? I just wanna say thank you for so many things, including making me eat liver, forcing black licorice down my throat. Uh, and the most important thing is thank you for pushing me to swim a clock cross Lake Massapog and then run back. Never in a million years would I have been able to do that without you. So without further ado, Barb and I want to wish you a very happy birthday. We love you. This is probably the biggest thank you I owe you. Nooms, happy birthday. Welcome to the 60 Club. Uh, be honest with you, 60 is just a number. Doesn't feel much different than 59. Doesn't feel much different than 18, really. Uh, hope you have a great day. Hope you have an opportunity to spend it with your great family. Uh, I want to say uh, thank you for the great friendship uh, through all the years. I know that I'm not always great to keep in touch with. Uh, and you are very vigilant about maintaining uh, contact. And I really, really appreciate that. Although I haven't really said that to you too much. Um, and I like how that uh, we get together. Uh, after long periods of being apart and we hit the ground running, uh, we can have a, um, some discourse about various topics and we remain respectable and we remain great friends. Uh, I also want to be surprised that we did remain friends, uh, especially after early in our uh, friendship. Uh, I came at you with the, with the uh, two finger, Mo from the Three Stooges, poke in the eye. Um, Somehow you uh, overlooked that and still remain my friend. And after all these years, I very much appreciate that. So have a great day and uh, let's talk soon. David Newman, formerly of Country Lane and a 1980 Sharon High School graduate, turned 60. It was a small gathering in person and a larger gathering virtually. And of course, a good time was had by all. But here's what they failed to report. Those of us who attended in any form love you deeply. And they also did not reference the fact that you, sir, are a virtuous man. 
and that virtue shines like a beacon on anyone you are around. Fifty more years, do not let that light stop shining. I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs>
see you soon. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, David! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, David! Happy birthday, Dave! Happy 60th birthday, David! Happy 60th, David! Happy birthday, Uncle David! Happy birthday, David! Happy birthday, David! Happy 60th birthday! The WHO welcomes you to middle age, as do Mark and I. Happy birthday, many, many, many more. Happy, healthy days. Take care. Love you. 55. Welcome to the club. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby David. brother. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Love you. Love you too. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh my God, babe. Here we go again. A day and then a night. The same thing again and again. And it's been a hundred thousand days of this. I know. Well, at least re at, since I've been 60, we're retired now. Everything's going great. And... We live in this big, huge house. We've got plenty of loot, and we're, we live with our entire family on this gorgeous farm. Life's pretty good. It is pretty good, and the best part is we still have Jethro after all these years. Right, buddy? Yeah, Boy, he lived still, a long time. We do still have Jethro. I think it's He's the Guinness always book. with us. Always. Good night, babe. Good night. See you in the morning. Ugh. Good morning, Mommy and Daddy. Time to wake up. Oh, oh good morning, girls. We have a lot to do today. Oh. Let me just get out my schedule. All right, 6 a.m., polar Here punch. Here you go, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, my oh, favorite they drink. Them. They wonder why I live so long. <laughs> That's why I live so long. 7 a.m., we have yoga with Rachel. 8 a.m., cycling Sharon. with Aunt Stacy. 9 a.m., storytelling with Elisa. 10 a.m., chickens and dancing with, <laughs> with Uncle Howard and Aunt Ellen. 11, sourdough making and discard with Aunt Amy and Boo. And lunch at 12, 1 p.m. hiking and wilderness medicine with Emily. Two is rock climbing with me. 3 p.m. is water is the secret to health by Professor David Duman with today's segment is goldfish chugging. Um, 4 p.m. philosophy with Ben. 5 p.m. basketball with Uncle Mark. And 6 p.m. sunset with Dahlia and Emma. Fun day ahead of us. That's terrific, girls. Just terrific, don't All you think, right. honey? Yes, let's get up and let's start get up our and start day. <laughs> okay, 6 a.m. and I'm really excited about the polar plunge with me, Art Newman. Okay, come on, girls, everybody, everybody, let's go. It's gonna be a beautiful day for plunging. It's that the water is about 22 degrees. Oh, these goggles. <laughs> go on, swim in there. 7 a.m. Yoga with Rachel. Oh, that was a great class, Rachel. You know, I think the reason we love yoga and stretching so much is because Daddy taught us there's never a bad place to stretch. 8 a.m. Cycling with Stacy. Hey, it's me, Stacy. You got it, you guys. It's just this one last hill. Hey, Carolyn over there is still killing it. Nine months pregnant. Woo! Guys, do you remember when... Okay, girls, are you ready for camp? We're Yay! gonna go. Okay. 9 a.m. Story time with Alisa. All right, girls, I'm so excited to read to you. Guess what book we're gonna read today? Magic of the Halftime Map. Yes, your favorite book. Yay, Auntie Alisa. Auntie Alisa, we love you. Yes, and the book is for? Please. Diane and Donald. Yeah, so let's start. Chapter one, and the mountain lions have won it. And that is the end. Sharon, I just love reading for your kindergarten class. Hey, did you know that four years ago when I was born, 
before I was born, <laughs> my daddy used to read to me when I was still in my mom's belly. What? Hi, Mom and Dad. Guess what? You're going to be Grammy and Grandpa now. We have a baby. Oh my God, she recognizes my voice. Oh. 10 a.m. Howard and Ellen, chickens and dancing. chickens. We're going to do that one day. I also remember when Daddy found abandoned ducks on the side of the road. Oh, look at those cute quack, ducks. Quack, I'm going to take quack, them home to my quack, girls. Quack, 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 quack. 11 a.m. sourdough with Amy and Boo. Sweetheart, can you just make a sourdough instead of just using the discard? Yvonne, you love my rosemary crackers. You're okay, right. I have some yummy bread I can make. Let's go. It's really good. Mm, I'm gonna. This discard's perfect. Hey, enough of all this crack. sourdough. I want Daddy to make his muffins. Oh, wow! Wow! Good. 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 One p.m. Hiking and wilderness medicine with Emily. Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna be gathering roots so that we can make medicinal salves. You know, I think I like hiking so much because remember when Daddy took us out of preschool to take us hiking all through the summer and to nature conservancies? <laughs> oh God, I love paternity leave. I wanna take these girls. Hold on, all right. Girls, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna go hiking. Come on girls, it's time. We're gonna go hiking. Yes, let's go. Paternity leave is all awesome. good. 3 p.m. Water is the secret to good health with, with David. Wait Nevada. a minute, wait a minute. We can't do this. Carolyn's about to have her baby. It's in room 121. Whoever wants to go, go ahead. I think the doctor is Dr. Rothberg, Cohen Gavri, I don't know, Serafina, the rabbi, the cantor. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Hello, I'm Dr. Serafina, and I'm and the rabbi, wait, Cohen. She's too young. Come here, babe, let's do this ourselves. Oh, I remember when we delivered, when I delivered Carolyn. Do you remember that? I do. Oh. 4, 4 p.m. Philosophy, philosophy with, with ben. ben. It's me, Ben, director of philosophy at Harvard University. Today we're gonna to be talking about Plato's Republic. You know, girls, I didn't always like philosophy. In fact, I used to dislike it. But ever since I got this prestigious job, it's really grown on me. You know, I think we really like philosophy because Daddy used to make us question life so much. What should I teach my girls today? I'm wondering woodworking, politics, doing some math, art, or maybe philosophy. 6 p.m. Sunset with Dahlia and Emma. Wow, this is just such a beautiful sunset. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the biggest lesson that Daddy ever taught us was just to be grateful for our lives and for each other. I love you guys. I love, I you, love you guys. <laughs> oh, sweetie, an end of another day, and here we are again at the end. It's incredible. Well, honey, I, you know what I think it is? It's just the beginning. Oh. Oh. What? I'm married to a 60-year-old?